week nine, everybody. We are so close to those holiday times. But now that we're coming close to those holidays, it's now time to think about our successful time we've had this term. So for our year 12s, we're almost finished up for our whole schooling career. Now we're gonna start thinking, how can we reflect on this term? How can we reflect on this year and our whole schooling career? So I know personally, I just go, what have I done really well this term? So for example, it could be getting a really good grade in one of your subjects that you haven't had in a little while, or it could just be celebrating the fact that you're taking an initiative to impact your learning in a positive way. Yeah. So Zara, how would you celebrate your success? Um, definitely celebrate the small things. So if you get a good grade, celebrate it. If you finish an exam, celebrate it. Yeah. Yeah, so we know those exams can be such a very stressful time, especially for our year 12s. But also too, you guys have, should have your assessments done by now or close to having them done. So celebrate the little milestones, whether it's getting to a checkpoint in time, where it's getting a completed draft done, or even if it's just handing in that assignment, it's just a lovely way to go, yep, I've done it. I don't need to think about it. But now it's pretty much go, yep, done. Woo, thank God for that and move on to the next topics. So, we went out and about to ask some kids about how they celebrate their success. Let's have a look. How do you celebrate your success? I either usually spend the entire night sleeping, or I treat myself to take some faster than Ms. Pantano, how can students celebrate their success? Students can celebrate their success in a number of ways at school. They can celebrate their success uh, when they receive an assessment result back and they've done really well. It's important to be able to reflect on how you've done and actually give yourself that opportunity to celebrate. It might be that you celebrate with something uh, like going out for a milkshake or buying something tangible to celebrate with yourself or at least just giving yourself that mental pat on the back and setting a new goal for next time. Wasn't that great? It was. So remember guys, if you do see us out and about, get involved. It is not an embarrassing thing to do. It's actually really fun. It is. So remember guys, you guys have those PBL stamps. Keep getting them, ask your teachers for them. Because I know some of the teachers might slack off and they're like, oh, maybe they're not into it anymore. But we do have some really big, exciting events coming up like our end of year celebrations and our PBL cash in. So we want to see as many of you guys out there cashing in your stamps. Sure. So Zara, on the topic of stamps, what do we have on this week? We have PBL cash in on Thursday, first lunch at ONP Courtyard. And then we have Chill Zone on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, second break in the pack. So, that is it from us this week, guys. Remember, stay happy, stay healthy, and where can they find us? They can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and on school assemblies. Yeah, guys, so that's it from us. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.